Hey guys! Today I'd like to share my blog journey with you. And you might be thinking, how is this an organizational video? Or a video about organization? Well, it is! Starting a blog is quite the process. And I've had, um, you know, a Tumblr blog before. I've had Winnie the Zoo since even before I started posting videos on YouTube at all. Uh, WinnieTheZoo.com, I should say. Um, and that's a Tumblr blog format. Um, but I've never had like a real full-blown actual like full-on blog before and there is a difference um, and it really really was quite the undertaking so I I thought I would share my journey with you because I got a lot of comments and questions about it when I first launched OrganizedGen.com uh, late last year in December of last year um, and I, I thought it might be helpful for some of you uh, who are interested in blogging or already have a blog or just out of curiosity. So uh, I thought I would share my journey with you and the steps I took. And I do think it is appropriately organizational themed because I don't think organization is just about organizing things. I think it's about organizing time and space and yourself and your projects and all of that and blogging or setting up a blog and being a blogger is a real project and like an actual I mean a lot of people are professional bloggers like that's what they do for their career so there of course there are different choices you can make depending on how much time you want to spend on your blog how much money you want to funnel into it if any that sort of thing so I thought I would share the steps I took with you. So I knew I wanted to have a blog that would tie in sort of all of the areas of interest that I uh, make videos about on YouTube. I have actually four channels. One, Winnie the Zoo Tube, is related directly to Winnie's blog, WinnieTheZoo.com, which is a Tumblr blog. Tumblr.com is a blogging platform that you can use. It's really very, very simple blogging. I think of it as like plug and play, pictures, small captions. You can get more technical with a Tumblr blog, a Tumblr blog or whatever you want to call it. But to me, it's just super, super easy for very simple blogging. Um, and I do recommend that if you just want to blog pictures or sayings or quotes or just you know, link your YouTube videos with a short description or something like that. Um, that that's a great platform to use, and um, I will link Tumblr.com below if you're interested. They probably have a tutorial somewhere on their website about what they're all about. Um, but so I I've always just associated Winnie stuff with Winnie's blog. So my three other channels, this one organized like Jen, is all about organization related videos. Um, my Housewife Life, I recently transitioned into vlog, ma mainly vlog channel uh, videos where I, you know, I kind of do day in the life sorts of follow me around videos, occasionally a housewife confessional, travel vlogs, all of that sort of stuff. And then the Busy Bee Buzz, which is my latest channel, which I've had for a few months now, is just for um, sort of all my like kind of girly interests, uh, beauty stuff, all my favorites videos, monthly favorites. Um, there's some cook nooks on there, there will eventually be some book nooks on there, and the cooking videos, videos about books, books reviews, book hauls, shopping hauls, um, uh, monthly subscription services, like reviews and open boxes, that sort of thing. I put all on that channel. So I have a lot of con different kinds of content on the internet that are organized by channel, um, but I wanted to place sort of like a home base for all of those things, where you could find links to not only links to all my channels but to all my social media platforms Twitter, my Facebook fan page, uh, Pinterest, my email, Winnie's blog, my newer newest blog Pos Positively Polished which is also a Tumblr um, it, that's sort of like a home base for everything and where I could actually blog when I didn't feel like making a video about something or I wanted something supplementary to a video or I just wanted to write stuff. I like writing and I've been wanting to start a blog to sort of tie in all of my YouTube stuff and my social media stuff for a very long time now. So I knew that I wanted to do this in 2012. It was actually one of my New Year's resolutions. Um, it actually took the better part of the year, surprisingly, for me to figure out just like figure out the right timing for me to launch it like when I was 
ready both emotionally and in terms of time and in terms of where I was at personally. So it took a while for me to figure out what the right timing for me to launch the blog and get that ball rolling because I knew it was going to be a huge undertaking. And it also took a long time for me to figure out what kind of format I wanted for the blog. If I wanted it to be separate blogs that I somehow tied into a main website, or if I wanted just one site where I could sort of have categories, where I could place all the like, different kind of subjects in. And I ultimately decided to go with that latter option because I just wanted to simplify as much as possible. It can be challenging to simplify when you're somebody like me who has a lot of different categories for things. I love categorizing. It's part of my how I work as a person. It's how I feel organized and on top of things and that's why I have four YouTube channels and two tumblers and you know different social media platforms. So I mean that's just what works for me as a person. Uh, you have to kind of figure out for yourself what will work for you. Some people like to have all sorts of different content on one blog. Some people only talk about one sort of subject. I like to share a lot of my different interests so I wanted a place for all of that to sort of park on the World Wide Web, <laughs> if you will. Um, so once I finally got to that point, the next step to me was finding a designer. And this was actually much more daunting of a task than I had originally anticipated because let me tell you there are thousands, if not tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of designers, graphic designers out there. And it can be really overwhelming and you don't know where to start. Because first I just like plugged in a uh, blog designer into Google search and it was like so many hits and it was like just so much information coming at me. So many different styles, so many different price ranges, so many different blogging platforms and that's when I realized that I really had to make some decisions about the basic structure, how I would want my blog to look, um, the look of it in itself, like what I wanted the design to reflect and which blogging platform I wanted to use and I kind of figured out through looking at all these different designers like the myriad designers on the web that if I had those three main things sort of in not totally concrete, but at least sort of sorted through, that would help me narrow it down a lot in the designer department and also would be very helpful when I finally found a designer to get the ball rolling, to be able to give them some something to work from, some sense of what I was looking for. And I, I do not underestimate the importance of really, really thinking these things through. And that is where this book came in for me. This is Blog Inc. Blogging for Passion, Profit, and to Create Community. It's by Joy Chill. I'm not going to try to pronounce her middle name, but I really, really, really enjoy this book. I've read it twice now. I read it once on my Kindle before it came out. It just came out last fall. Um, but it wasn't in print until like, you know, a few, like a month or so after it was out on Kindle. So I read it on my Kindle first and then I read it in print too because I like to write in the margins of my books like these. It just helps me retain information better and it kind of like dates back to college and high school sorts of ways of studying and stuff. But this is an excellent book. I would highly recommend this to anybody who's interested in blogging, curious about blogging, or even more... Uh, taking it a little further, wants to maybe pursue becoming a professional blogger, uh, monetizing your blog, being uh, profitable from blogging, that sort of thing. But I, I think it's even appropriate for people who just want to blog for themselves, for fun. You know, not necessarily for profit or to become a career option or anything like that. Um, Joy Cho actually is a professional blogger. She has been sort of since the what they called the Wild West days of blogging when it was sort of like kind of un not done a lot and sort of unknown. Um, her blog, Oh Joy, is amazing. I will link this below. I'll link most of the things I talk about that have links in the more info bar below for you guys in case you're interested in checking them out. I really recommend checking out her blog. She's a lifestyle blogger. She's also a designer. So she designed her own site, but she also designs like prints and things that different companies have collaborated with her on for stationery, for wallpaper, for clothing. I mean, she's just an amazing, amazing woman. She's got a great voice and her blog is a great um, read. But this book, I think, is her coup de grace. It's just 
so well laid out, so well written. It's very organized and to me it kind of reflects what the organization of a good blog is. I mean it's got seven chapters, is that, yeah, seven chapters, introduction to blogging, finding your voice and niche, powering your blog, blogging community etiquette, making your blog a business, monetizing your blog, and then the next stage of blogging growth. So it just really helps you, especially if you know absolutely nothing about blogging or even if you do know some things. Um, Learn if you don't know. Fine tune if you do already know a bit. Uh, gives you some interesting ideas. She pulls in outside, in um, you know, bloggers for uh, input. She like interviews different popular bloggers throughout the book, um, depending on the topic. And it's just, it's a really well-rounded read and really great for anybody. I would recommend it to anybody who blogs or is, who's interested in blogging. Whether, like I said, it's for just for fun, casual, or if you really want to make uh, something more of a business out of it. But uh, finding this book really helped me. Also, reaching out to you guys on uh, Facebook, actually, and Twitter. Uh, I'm very lucky to have such a generous, supportive community who answers my pleas for help a lot. I, I will, like, very often actually post on my Facebook fan page, I need help, and then I write what it is that I need help on. Like, I really, I really um, value your guys' input, and there's such a wide variety of you out there who have a lot to share in terms of different things. And I actually reached out last fall about blogging platforms, um, designers, that sort of thing. I got a lot of feedback. You guys helped tremendously, so thank you. So I, that's, I got a, like a kind of a leg up in that area. But I recommend going to, um, going to your friends, going to social media sites, going to blogging forums, like forums where people talk about blogging. If you're looking for more information, this book is a great start, but if you want to hear like actual recommendations from actual people in, you know, that you're talking to online or something, um, I think that's a great way uh, to get some advice. So I ultimately decided to go with WordPress.org. There's two different kinds of WordPress. There's WordPress.com and WordPress.org. WordPress.org I don't know the technical terms, I'm not like really savvy about that, but it is um, basically, it's the most customizable blogging engine uh, that's pretty popular out there. Uh, I think TypePad is it's kind of similar in that way, I'm not entirely sure. Blogspot or blogger.com and wordpress.com are sort of... Um, they're great, they're great platforms, but they're a little less customizable and you have a little less control over them. Um, so I recommend doing your research around blogging platforms and what suits your needs. I knew I wanted Organized Gen to be pretty flexible and I wanted to have complete control over it as much as possible um, in case I wanted to turn it into something else in the future or just, you just never know where your life's gonna go. Um, especially, you know, being sort of an internet personality now it just I wanted that sort of framework and you get you have a lot of optionality with wordpress.org as your uh, blogging platform so I decided to go with that <laughs> I kind of had already thought of what I wanted my logo to look like, so that's another thing if you want to have a header or a logo or something you can tie in with your blog or website um, to sort of brand it, I guess, in a way, or make it your own. I had an idea for that, but then I really kind of thought it through even more in terms of layout, in terms of colors. I looked at a lot of blogs. I looked at a lot of... Um, popular blogs and then I would just click on their links to other blogs and their links to other blogs. So there's a lot of ways you can kind of help influence your opinion just by looking at other blogs out there that you like in terms of style and um, layout and logo design and all that. And that's also a great way to find blogging designers because most designers will be tagged at the bottom or on the sidebar of the blog or you can email the blog owner and ask, oh I really love your blog design would you mind sharing who designed it with me? That sort of thing. So I figured those things out um, and 
I figured out also sort of the style I was looking for based on looking at all these blogging designers and their personal blogs that I had Googled. Um, and I eventually ran to this site called blogdesignnetwork.com where there was, it was just like a huge inventory of um, blogging designers who are um, pretty popular. And um, that is how I stumbled across designerblogs.com, which is the uh, designing company that I ultimately went with. Now, blogdesignnetwork.com, the website's been down lately. If it is op up, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Of course, there'll be a link below. Um, I honestly started just going from the top of the list down through it. I don't, you know, the way it was set up when I was looking through it was just like a list of linked blogs. And so I just started at the top and I went all the way down through it. I didn't go quite through the whole thing because by the time that I found designer blogs, I had basically figured out that was what I wanted. But I actually did contact several blog designers before I found designer blogs and um, it just wasn't going to work out with the pricing or... Um, the kinds of blogs that they could do or that sort of thing. So it, don't expect that you're going to find the perfect person in the first go. You have to reach out to the blog designers, see what their schedule's like, see what their turnaround times are like, see what their prices are like. It's um, There's a lot of great templates out there that you can purchase that are inexpensive or free if you're not looking for something true, like highly customizable. I wanted something that was really customized just to me and that I knew that I could fiddle with in the future if I felt like it. And that's why I wanted to hire a designer and some and 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 go that route. But there are a lot of blog design templates out there where you don't have to, you know, work with a designer or any of that thing. So that's something else you have to kind of think through. So eventually I found designer blogs and um, Right off the bat, I was impressed with their website, with how it looked, with how um, the aesthetic was. Now, it's a group of several women bloggers, and a lot of them are also stay-at-home moms or wives at the same time. Um, and they're all over the country, but they've come together to form this, this company. So, you can actually... Um, hand pick certain designers. You can go to the portfolio and if you roll the cursor over the uh, whatever sample website that they have posted on there, it'll say who designed it, like which of the designers. I didn't actually specify which designer I, wa I wanted when I... They have like a contact form that you can fill out where they where you give some basic information and then they will write you back and then that's how the ball gets rolling. I liked that a lot too. It wasn't just a blind email to somebody. I found several bloggers did not email me back at all. So, I mean, blog designers, I mean. Uh, so, that was really nice. They emailed me almost immediately. That was another A plus in that department. I liked that they were very keen on communication. Communication is key when you're working with a blog designer, so make sure you find a good fit for you because you will be there will be a lot of back and forth. Um, and the lovely lady who took my design project name is Erin. She's actually the, um, I'm not sure exactly what her title is. I think she's the head or the founder of the company. Um, I think. I don't know. I'll, I'll show all this hopefully on the screen while we're talking here. But, um, I loved that they also had the bios of all of the blog designers with a link to their personal blogs as well, so you can see what they design for themselves, what their own aesthetic is, um, which is nice, and also a really comprehensive uh, portfolio is also great. Also, they were very reasonable in comparison to other blog designers I had looked at in terms of cost. You can spend quite a bit on a blog, and I really like the way that designer blogs sets up their... Um, you know their costs, where it's uh, what they charge for things. It's it's separate. It's like cat in categories. You guys know I like my categories, and it's just so easy to sort of add things up and see. You know, if you're working within a very specific budget, you can like, you know, kind of play around with the numbers depending on what elements you'd like. If you want a sidebar, if you want, you know, social media buttons, if you want a link within bar, if you want a signature, if you want. 
a logo. You can kind of, they show all of the prices for that separate so you can really kind of build your blog based on your budget the way you want it to, uh, the, way, the way you want to. So that is also another thing that I give them an A plus for and that I did not really see on anybody else's um, blog in such detail and, and so it's just they just very well organized company. Um, so we started communicating, me and Aaron, and immediately I kind of knew what elements I wanted. I knew what general layout of the blog I wanted with the sidebar on one side, the header on the top, sort of the main chunk. I only wanted one, like one big column for the content. Um, I wanted social media buttons. I wanted um, pages where I had about me, links, policy, like different pages that people can click on that are at the top of my blog, sort of in tab form. I needed a custom logo. Um, you know, I kind of, I knew ex pretty well what colors I wanted. I knew I wanted to organize, uh, to um, bring a bee in. My little bee friend is what we ended up calling the bee, <laughs> uh, which she designed for me and which I love. Um, I knew I wanted to own the rights to all of the images and logos of my blog and the design. Um, and that was something also separate that you can buy. Um, making sure you have the exclusive rights to your blog is important, especially if later on you want to monetize things or if you're branding or something like that. Um, so I had general thought of what I wanted and I actually had a pretty general idea of what I wanted my logo to look like and I actually like kind of sketched it out, took a picture with my phone and then emailed it to her and it was like she got me right away. She really, I mean, we clicked and she got back to me so fast. I was so impressed with how fast she got back to me with um, proofs, with, you know, uh, sample logos. Um, it really, I mean, and it was a really, um, communi there was a lot of communication. It was a lot of back and forth. And it's, it, I feel like we just understood each other. It was a really positive experience for me. I know there are situations where um, people the communication just doesn't click right or it's not, it's lacking a little bit. Um, designer blogs prides themselves on their communication being pretty good about turnarounds. They're very honest about their queue or their wait time. You can actually go to their website and see when they're accepting new orders for blogs. And they offer a lot of different products. WordPress.org blog design, WordPress.com blogspot, um, you know, Twitter background or Twitter headers, face Facebook headers, YouTube backgrounds, logos, all of that. They they have a like a very wide range of products and services that they offer. So I really recommend checking it out. Even if you're not in the market for a blog or not interested in starting a blog, um, just go look at their portfolio because their work is amazing. And all of the women sort of fall into a similar aesthetic and it was really what I was looking for was sort of this clean, simple, but with a touch of whimsy. That was really what I was looking for and, it, and their portfolio just spoke to me. So uh, that's what I decided to go with and since then the Organizing of the blog, like working on categories, making subcategories, um, that's all sort of been a learning process for me. I'm t definitely learning as I go. My designer, Erin, has been super helpful. She's always been really, really forthcoming with information and help um, when I have questions about things. She's been great about finding um, plugins for me. You can get like different plugins for different sort of things you want your blog to do, like Link Within, where it shows like different blog posts at the bottom of your whatever posts that people might want to like click on that has something to do with it or something. Um, RSS feed, um, email subscriptions, like she was just really helpful and, and, and taught me a lot about um, getting things up and running. Uh, so I, I had a really, really, really positive experience. Um, so I, I would highly recommend checking them out and I give them like two thumbs up and like all of the thumbs in the world. If that's a thing, I don't know. Um, but that's the main journey that I took. I don't want to talk for, I'm sure I've already talked for like ever because I can, I can feel like I've been talking forever. If you guys have questions, please let me know. The best place always to reach me is Twitter. Um, I'm really, really happy with how the blog came out. It's 
it's just as I wanted it and it's even better than I envisioned in my head when all was said and done and, and I've kind of used the elements of things that I you know had commissioned for the blog such as the um, custom logos for all my channels and stuff and I've incorporated that even into my YouTube channels to be my like intro slides into my videos to be in the backgrounds in my channels that sort of thing um, it's been it's been really worth the um, investment so uh, I I can't say enough good things about designer blogs I don't want to go on and on and on but link below you guys should check them out for sure and I can't thank Erin enough Erin you are amazing thank you so much for all your hard work um, also check out Erin's blog for really interesting um, content about her adoption journey like adopting her children is just amazing I highly recommend it I was like crying while reading it but um, yeah anyways just, there's an amazing community of people out there and it's actually there's quite a few women designers out there and women bloggers who have made blogging not only part of their lives but part of their their livelihood and I just think it's an amazing it's an amazing community and there's a lot to learn on the web about blogging um, and through blogging and through reading blogs I mean really the sky's the limit you can blog about anything that suits your fancy my advice would be other than that but in terms of topic talk about things that you're interested in if you're genuinely interested in something People are going to be interested to hear what you think about those things. In my experience, um, if you're not, if you're kind of like faking it, it's people are not. It's not going to come off as genuine, and that's really what makes your voice shine through and reaches out to people. Because it's hard when you're on a screen or through the written word to reach people. When you're not face to face and you can't communicate with somebody um, right in person, it is it. It's a bit more of a challenge, I think. Um, so that's really where being really genuine and sticking to your, your, you know, your interests and your convictions really, really comes into play. Um, I think, I think that's the main. I mean, that's important in person too, but I feel like it makes an even bigger difference when you're not face to face with somebody. So I think that's about all I wanted to talk about for my blog journey. I hope this was helpful to at least some of you. I'm certainly no expert in blogging, in any of blogging related things, in design or anything. I'm like slowly but surely, not surely, just slowly kind of picking up bits about searching for plugins, um, sort of arranging things on the blog, um, you know, blog etiquette, you know, getting permission for images. That's a super important thing. A lot of people do not get permission for images and it's very important. Giving credit where credit's due, photo sourcing. Um, uh, what else? Watermarking your pictures, um, linking them back to your blog, um, you know, tying in your social media sites so that whenever you put up a new blog post, it, it goes right to your Twitter. It's like, oh, hey, there's a new post up, check it out. And then there's a link or something. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a learning journey. And I've actually even started picking up a little bit about design. I've been playing around with GIMP, which is a free graphic design program, sort of rudimentary, basic stuff. But I thought it would be a good thing for me to play around with for a few months before I invested in a graphic design program because they are rather pricey and I've been you know having some success just sort of learning things on my own googling things when I don't know what I'm supposed to look for in the program and uh, so that that's a good thing too and um, you know getting more into photography taking my own photos for the blog uh, I like having my own photos because then you don't have to worry about um, copyrights and things of that nature um, so I mean there's it's sort of just opens up a whole new world <laughs> for for me personally and I know it does for lots of bloggers out there um, so and you can even just make a blog that's just for you or just for your family there's options for password protecting um, privacy protection that sort of thing if you just want something for a very small select number of people to see where it's invite only that's an option too so you if you're interested in blogging pick up this book Check out designerblogs.com 
and think through what you want your blog to be about and how you want it to feel and look and and what you want to be able to do with it in terms of like what platform you go with so i hope this was helpful you guys let me know if you have any questions like i said reaching out on twitter is your best bet for a Im more immediate response not immediate but you know it's faster um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back with, I have a little mini project to share really soon. That was a little dance. I'm excited to be back into organizing my home. Um, so I'm excited to be sharing with you guys again. So stay tuned for that coming up next on Organize Like Jen. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Link to everything below. Also link to my blog, always there now, permanent feature at the very bottom of, if you click the like more info, then it expands the info bar below and that's where I usually link things and have um, you know any other information that I'm sharing with you that has to do with the video or something like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this also if you have blogs let me know you can't put links you can't like type um, websites or anything in comments for YouTube videos but you can tweet them to me I'd love to see your blogs uh, so yes let's share thanks for watching you guys take care see you next time bye